Uh, Jimmy, we'll just come down to uh, Feed and Boxing, where I've just caught you on the pads. Yeah. And uh, you surprised me, mate. You surprised me. Did I what? Because you're a big lad. Yeah. But you got fast hands. You yeah. can move a little bit, mate. Try your best, buddy. Yeah, I was. In fact, I, I just mentioned to you before, you, you, you remind me a little bit of a, a kid who's making a little bit of noise around our way called um, um, Ricky Gorman. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's like you, he's, he's, he's a big lad, a big unit, um, but very light on his feet and uh, got very quick hands. And, and looks like you're carrying serious power with that back hand of yours. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, try, try. Well, let's go back to where it all started. Where did it all start? How old were you? And uh, why? To be honest with you, buddy, I took up boxing as a bit of a sport, you know what I mean? I was eight. So I started boxing when I was eight. Started competitive boxing when I was 13 and had a few fights and then I couldn't really get no fights so. Because I believe Jimmy was saying to me, at about 15, 16 years old, you were almost as big as you are now. I was six foot five at uh, 15. <laughs> So no one wanted to fight you? No, I was 6 foot 5 and about 80 yard feet old and then walked around about 90. So I presume you got very disillusioned with not getting matched? Yeah, there wasn't many people of my age in England at the time. No. Do you know what I mean? So, and I fought most of the time as well and I was only within a few fights. So how long was it a break from those few amateur fights that you had to walking back into freedom here and, and, and deciding to go pro? I used to always keep on like coming back and forth. So I was always in and around the gym training anyways. But uh, during the end of lockdown, that there's talk, come back in and see where it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Had a talk with Jimmy, sat down, and we just decided go pro and see how it works out. And hopefully that's gonna start uh, in July, is it? When we go back to Doncaster Dome? Yeah, we're, lo we're looking at about July, 15th of July, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure of the date. I know no. we're going back there. Yeah, some some, point. sometime in July. Yeah. And then uh, whatever the date is or whatever, get me first fight under the book. And how old are you now? 25? 25 just gone. 25? Yeah. So are you excited then for, for where this goes? And I presume I, you, there's a little bit of a, a traveller's twang there. Yeah, uh, yeah. We have a, uh, Jimmy has a very close connection with uh, Mr. Tyson Fury. Uh, have you ever been down there doing anything? Yeah, I've been down there a few times training with Tyson. It's good out of the training. Uh, you can't get better than that, can you, as a heavyweight for you, for no, someone like yourself? No, it's good training, good fitness as well, great for fitness. Has he, have he, has he given you any words of advice? I just work on that there, a few things, but he work there and that there. Yeah? Yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, if, you, if you're looking for inspiration, you can't get any better than going down to his gym, can you? No, 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 you, re you realise why he's watching everyone when you get down there. He's a fit fella. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fit old fella. No matter what shape he looks in, I've been told he's phenomenally fit. Oh, no, 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 that, that is the thing, though. He is only fit. Yeah. Fit is fanatic. Well, I think that just goes, that little statement he made when in the 12th round when he got put down by uh, Deontay Wilder um, and he bounced back up, he was asleep, he was asleep for four seconds Yeah. and he got back up and won the fight, won the round mm -hmm. uh, with, even with his hands behind his back taunting uh, yeah. Wilder, he, the, the guy is phenomenal he's, uh, he's, a, he's an amazing specimen um, He's a world champion for a reason buddy, that's what they say Oh, uh, without a doubt, he's, uh, he's not that uh, but what are you now then, if you were 6 foot 5 when you were a kid, what, what size six, are you? Eight. <laughs> no, uh, I presume Jimmy's very excited about uh, what can happen with you in your career. Yeah, hopefully, I mean, that's what we're thinking. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, listen, I have good reason to believe he's right because after just watching you that little bit I did on the pads there, I was, I was truly impressed with the, uh, with the variety of shots and, and the speed of your, your hand speed. Like I say, for a good big guy, yeah. you can move a little bit and you've got good feet. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think it's it's in your in your blood, isn't it? You get pro fighting, you know. Uh, if you have a, 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 a disagreement with a family member, you saw it out on the cobbles, don't you? Oh, I don't know, buddy, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> but you know how it is. It is. Yeah. It's, 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 it's inbred in uh, in travellers. Um, you, you you can't not not fight because it's like the Spartans, aren't you? <laughs> you're, bred to, you're bred to fight, so it'd be silly for you not to give this a go. Mm -hmm. And uh, after watching you, I can see why you're going to give it a go. I can see why Jimmy's excited about you, mate. Cheers, buddy. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to uh, when that journey starts. Hopefully, like I say, 15th of July, uh, back at the uh, Doncaster Dome. Thanks, and 
if I'm down there and we're filming it, will I be talking to you and saying we're number one afterwards? But to help a guy, yeah. <laughs> help a guy, buddy. Jimmy, you take care, mate. It's been a pleasure mate. watching you and uh, talking to you today. You take care, mate. Bye bye. Thank you. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.